So the first question is, who would you cast to play the main characters in a TV film adaptation of your book? Obviously, being a Southeast Asian, I would love to have Michelle Yeoh play Vera Wong. Uh, over here in Indonesia, we are just so incredibly proud of her uh, and all of her achievements and the doors that she has opened for the rest of us um, within the Asian community. Any adaptation, I would really want to star the magnificent Julie Hesman Halsh. She did the audio recording of both books and I have worked with her before. And what she did when she did the audio recording, and I don't really think she knew she'd done it, was that she had created a whole extra layer to this world of the three ladies in the garden center that I'd created. She kind of breathed a life into it. I suppose the most exciting thing, if these ever were made into a TV adaptation, would be to see someone else's image and to hand it over to them and think, right, okay, this is someone else's story now. So how do I decide on the locations of my books? I've only written two books so far. And for these two books, I've written about places I know. The main location, the place that they keep coming back to is the Thirsk Garden Centre and the coffee shop, which is a real place. And I would strongly advise you going there because the scones are, if a crime writer can say this, the scones there are to die for. I like to set my books in places where I have either lived before or spent a lot of time in. So I decided to set Vera Wong in San Francisco because I went to college in Berkeley and on the weekends we would often drive down to San Francisco and so I'm very familiar with the place. Where do you get your ideas and humour from? I would have to say it's from other content, um, from books and uh, lots of TV shows that I watch. Um, obviously there's a very strong Knives Out influence um, in Vera Wong, as well as um, Kim's Convenience, Thursday Murder Club, Iona Iverson's uh, Rules to Commuting. All of these books have greatly influenced um, my decision to write Vera Wong. Uh, but the number one influence, I would have to say, is my mom because she is the OG Vera. And I dedicated the book to her because Vera is basically my mom with like the dial turned up to 100. Luckily, she approves of Vera, so, you know, phew. Um, I would have to say my sense of humor came from me being like really needy and just wanting everyone to like me. And, and so like throughout my whole life, I was like, okay, well, I have to be the funny girl so that, you know, people like me. Um, and I guess it kind of bled into uh, my writing. <laughs> I've worked in primary schools all my working life for coming up for 40 years. And it is an, uh, it, it is an environment that is crammed with stories. Every day you have a blizzard of stories. And even though teaching is stressful and it's hard work and it's demanding and exhausting, it is never, ever, ever boring. And I've been so lucky over the years. I have worked with so many people, predominantly women, who are giving of their very best, flying through their days, laminating, copying, teaching, comforting, sorting, listening, marking. And yet, the key thing that binds us all together is we're able to laugh about it. Every single day, I will end up laughing about something. So ideas and humour, they come from the primary school. So when you come to writing, there's this sort of humorous, funny, backs-against-the-wall energy that kicks in. 